You're going to want to have a static IP for this box because it is going to be your DNS server. So you don't want to change IPs and now you lose it. So in your router, just ensure that it's going to have a static lease. You could do it after we install PyHole and get that all done, but just make sure you do get it done. This is where we're going to select our upstream DNS provider. So we are going to be using our internal DNS when we have everything set up, but we still do need to reach out to public DNS so we can resolve stuff. I like to use Cloudflare. The way that PyHole works is it uses these ad lists, as they call it, to block known domains that usually lead to ads or other kind of issues. So now we can see over here that the installation is complete and we can start using it. So the first thing we're going to do is note our IP. Again, make sure you make this a static lease if you haven't already. And here is going to be the site that we're actually going to access the admin page from. Next is going to be our admin password. So just make sure you have that as well. And we're going to be able to change that once we log in. So it says in it to use colon 80 for the port, but it should just be able to redirect since 80 is the default web port. The next thing we're going to do is just type in our password that it provided. And now over here, you can see that we are in PyHole. One more thing, because I'm going to assume everybody's going to want to change their password. If you come over here under the, where your password was, you can see that if we use PyHole set password, we can update it. So I can just do PyHole set password and we'll just confirm it. And now it's all set. So if I do come back over here, you can see it automatically signed me out. And now I am able to log back in. 